this is not the way to protect kids from pornography. I'm gonna give you a list of reasons why this will not work. Hey guys, in case you don't know me, my name is Super Ruther. There is a new law being introduced in Louisiana, it's active right now, that has restricted access to Pornhub, RedTube, and some other sites that carry the same kind of porn, okay? Quote from Representative Republican Lori Schlegel, the bill's sponsor, emphasized in a tweet, the age verification is a must to protect children from the dangers of online pornography. Online pornography is extreme and graphic and only one click away from our children. This is not your daddy's playboy. She tweeted that this is the law's first step in holding pornography companies accountable. The controversial law known as Act 444 requires adult websites to screen their visitors using reasonable age verification. So what does this mean? That means that in order to access porn, if you're in Louisiana, you have to prove you're 18 or older. You have to input your valid ID or driver's license. You have to input it into the system and it has to save it. And then boom, you're registered and you can watch porn. Now, I don't need to tell you, there are a lot of really bad things that can come out of this, okay? So let's talk about how even in the last couple of years, how many times has your credit card been canceled due to fraudulent activity? Even when you're not even buying anything bad, right? You're just swiping at a Kroger's, you're swiping at the gas stations and somehow they get your number, bam, all of a sudden you gotta get a new credit card. That's just a credit card. That's not counting every bit of information that makes you, you. Replacing a credit card isn't that bad, but try, try reversing identity theft. It even says in, it even says in this, what's called LA Wallet. LA Wallet is the site that your information goes into to be secured safely. It even says, we do not make any guarantees or representations as to the privates, privacy policies or practices of our third party age verification service providers. And you should review such policies before using the websites and providing your personal information to them. That's jargon for we're not responsible if your stuff gets leaked. This is not the way to protect kids from pornography. I'm all for protecting kids. You know, I don't want my kids having to worry about they're playing a silly game on the tablet or a silly game on our phone and they accidentally click the ad instead of clicking the X because you know as well as I do, sometimes those X's are really small, right? You click on the ad, you get a bunch of pop-ups, right? I don't want to fear of them clicking, accidentally misclicking, not clicking the X and all of a sudden tits and dicks are flying out their face, right? Restricting this is not going to help the children in ways that they actually want to help the kids. It feels more like fear-based control over actually trying to quote unquote protect us, right? So, and this is up until you're proof that you can 18. So a 16 year old, I can't imagine not being able to look at that in my state at 16. I'm gonna give you a list of reasons why this will not work, okay? One, VPN browser extensions, you can change your state to register in anywhere you want in the entire world. So then the internet sees, oh, you're in Dubai. Cool, you're not in Louisiana, you're good to go. Hop on Pornhub. Kids can share the information, right? All it takes is one deadbeat dad. Be like, oh, you wanna watch porn? Here, dude, I got you. And then he's sharing it to three or four of his buddies or her buddies to hook your friends up, right? So now all the kids are sharing the same information. They're still getting access to it, right? And my cat in the background. This doesn't stop TikTok. OnlyFans, Fansly, Twitter, Reddit. It doesn't stop any of those websites from showing porn. As the days and weeks go, you can find more and more of that stuff on any of those platforms. I mean, especially OnlyFans and Fansly, right? Hey, no, no judgment, but still. Now, they're gonna see a drastic number change in the traffic to Pornhub, RedTube, YouPorn, stuff like that. And they're gonna use that as a way to show that this worked. But what they won't show you is they won't show you the increased traffic to Twitter, to TikTok, to all the other things that I said. On the surface, they're gonna show that, hey, this works, we should totally do this in more places. When in reality, you're just moving the traffic to the other areas. The fallout from this is a pretty big deal, I feel like. Yeah, take that, Mike. So one thing that I don't think people are taking into account is, do you remember when you were a kid and how everything was such a big deal and our hormones were going absolutely bonkers? One of the best things to do right for i would say a good average of kids is to go home and rub one out god forbid these kids are going to lose one more thing that they were in control over right as a kid you didn't feel like you had control over anything and that made us angry made us sad depressed the kids were already bullied like crazy worried about everything 
this this is only going to exacerbate the issue, right? I guarantee you, we look back two years from now, okay, guarantee is a strong word, but I would bet money that two years from now, we look back after this, there will be a spike in quote unquote kids committing suicide. And it's, it is horrible. Kitty. Not only do I think suicide rates will increase, but I also think crime in general, especially at schools, they're going to increase too because kids are pent up and they need an outlet. And sometimes m masturbation is one of the only ones that they got. Instead of restricting access to Pornhub, RedTube, YouPorn, all the ones in between, instead of restricting one way to access it, what they need to do is focus on providing healthy sources, take that microphone, healthy sources of information for the kids instead, right? So here's my solution. Here, here is what I feel like would work better, okay? You make a profile, okay? So you have to put age, all that stuff, maybe some other questions or whatever, and then the button that says you're 18 or older. Most websites, if it's that kind of stuff, they have that button, the button doesn't do much. However, once you make the profile, what should be offered is certain links, okay? So links to healthy, safe masturbatory practices, right? Links to signs of porn addiction and how to combat it. A hotline to call if you need to call someone, not for dirty talk, but just to talk about stuff. Sometimes people can go on there not to just blank it, but to also look at stuff because they heard about something and they're confused. We need to open up the information avenue for them. That way they have a safe place to talk about this stuff so they don't go somewhere they shouldn't go. Now all those popular sites that were like somewhat safe and controlled, they're gonna go to places that aren't safe and controlled. They probably will see stuff that they possibly wouldn't have if they just went to the what they had as a normal outlet. Let's not forget, orgasms actually have a lot of health benefits, right? So increased mood, you have increased concentration, improved cognitive ability, and improved sleep function. And yes, of course, too much porn is bad, right? But as a kid, especially a horny kid, you're just looking for an outlet to feel the release, that way you feel like you have control over yourself again. Oh yeah. And what a pain in the ass is this gonna be for the parents of said people in Louisiana who have to type this information in? And what if the website's going wonky and weird and the real information that you're typing doesn't work? So now there is no legitimate reason why a grown person can't watch porn. All it takes is the website to be a little crappy and then you're screwed out of luck on the popular websites. So here's hoping for future states, when they come to look at this, they'll see the negatives and the work greatly outweigh any so-called benefits that they might see, right? And the benefits of restricting this stuff is only gonna be polished to look at for politicians and for people that are afraid to talk to, about this stuff with their kids. Let me know if you enjoyed this. I think this is a big deal. Let me know if you think this is a big deal or, or if I'm just blowing smoke everywhere. Maybe there's something that I missed. Please tell me in the comments below. Love to hear your thoughts, guys. Have a good one. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, why don't you check out the Pornhub Review 2022. It's a really fun time and you get to go through and see all the Pornhub statistics from the year 2022. Thanks for watching.